I once described homesteading as living a more third world life in the midst of a first world nation. Meaning that there's a lot of creativity, a lot of upcycling and using free sources and evaluating what you've got on hand when you attempt to make life better for yourself. Here's one good example of a material that I've had on hand for years now because there was a time I bought some grain bins and due to a couple different situations we we're only able to remove some of the pieces. I've got a number of ideas of how to just use these pieces but the original goal of being able to set up a couple grain bins passed by the wayside yet these free sources remain. When I combine having these on hand with looking out into the forest floor and seeing how much firewood is just out there, unprotected, ready to rot, I thought maybe I could combine these two to help preserve some of what we still have while it's still useful. One thing about living on a heavily wooded property and just kind of clearing out some stuff, doing some pruning, taking down some trees, you've got deadfall that falls in the, in the wind, is there's a lot of wood. And even with a wood stove and campfires, there's only so much that we can use. Um, especially as we're getting started, you know, the longer we live here, the longer we heat with a wood stove, the longer we enjoy campfires and different stuff, then the longer we will have been using the, the limited supply that's on our property. But right now we're still in this way over abundance as long as it exists. If it sits out in the rain and the elements and just rots and decomposes, then I've got soil. You know, that's not bad, but if I'm trying to have it for firewood, I've got to protect it. So in this video, I'm gonna be using a couple of those grain bin pieces just a couple of them and an existing building as a backstop and we're gonna see if we can't make a real simple but effective firewood storage to protect what we got let's see Uh. 
So, where's my... So... I'm just going to be outside. So, okay. So I just start opening stuff up. Why are we doing? Because I want to. You gotta take them out. See, this bag is not open. Okay. Give me the tape measure too.
Well, that is essentially the finished result. If it was a little bit easier, I would actually unbolt these and spread it out so it's about a foot higher. When I initially put it up, trying to use that whole piece in there, it was just too much. But what we've got is two of the pieces that are pretty much full size, and then a small one too. The small one, we have bolted together with this, but this one's on top. So that way watershed comes over the top like that. And we have the same thing on this side where it overhangs. And then we have a downward slope from there. The ends are held in place with some of this angle iron. I made some stakes, held them into the ground. I do not see that jumping up and over here, so I think that's secure. And then we just have this tin barn as a backdrop. Um, the opening of this is facing to the south. Predominantly, the wind is going to come from the north and from the west. So as that comes in here, this building's going to block quite a bit of it. And then you can see too, you know, coming in from the west, that's blocking it pretty well too. The gap between here and the wall is covered by the overhang. And um, I think I'm only going to go, you know, one layer deep in here because the next layer would be sticking out past it. But that should keep it pretty well and pretty dry and even all this stuff in here was just what was laying around on the ground uh, nearby here so we just threw that up as the sun was fading last night and there's plenty more pretty much as i work my way through the forest floor um, we cut a lot of it to length that way it's easier for the children to move it's already cut and kind of a regular firewood length and then it's just a matter of putting it somewhere safe like we have now. One thing I like about this is with the tin barn there and this grain bin, um, they work together pretty well. It looks pretty consistent. They're not the same rib pattern, but they're about the same color, kind of the galvanized metal looking color. And uh, I think it works well together. I think it's interesting because you're not used to that type of shape. You know, it's kind of like the St. Louis arch. A little different than what you would uh, see some places but I think it works well it looks interesting and if we've got that full of firewood and that's just some more that we've got stored and available from here I can ride the trailer the truck and trailer all the way back back it right up to here load up and you know move it if I want to move it in bulk but uh, it's also good to have your firewood stored in multiple locations if you have one big firewood storage and somehow that catches a spark, you can lose all your firewood and just have a raging inferno that not only destroys everything in that area, but loses your entire supply. So, you know, God forbid there ever was a fire on the homestead, but if there was, at least by having the wood in different places, it wouldn't have as much fuel centrally located in one, one area. And this also cleans up the forest floor, where if you've got a lot of dead limbs down there, a lot of branches, little sticks, and fire catches in the woods. That'll burn a lot quicker with all that fuel laying there. If we can sit there and take it now and put it here, that's gonna be a lot better. And this is not all just a bunch of big split cordwood, as you can see. Um, pretty much anything that made sense that was kind of a firewood size, as far as thickness from like an inch in diameter and bigger, is what we put here. Um, I don't have a working chipper shredder right now, but I can't wait to make my own wood mulch. And then maybe some of these smaller ones would have been used for that. But right now it's just getting things cleaned up, getting them tidied up, making them look better, reducing the fire hazard on the forest floor, and then also allowing things to grow um, by exposing the ground. So again, just using what we have on hand to make things better for us. I think that was a good quick project and uh, definitely serves a good purpose. What do you guys think? I also got some other pieces of this stuff left. What else do you think I could do with it? Let me know in the comments if you got any other ideas. I'll see you later. Pop out.
good? Yeah. That's because you know.